Neighbors, this is Robert at Daybird Aviaries. I'm getting ready to put some eggs in an incubator, and I want to take just a moment to show you some of the differences that we have in some of the poultry eggs that are produced here. This beautiful egg has a waxy coat on it. It's kind of a grayish blue. So I'm told. I am colorblind. I, I, you tell me what color that is. This egg came from a Pekin duck, the big white quacking duck. This beautiful chalk white egg came from a white leghorn hen. That egg came from a red naked neck hen, also known as the turkins. You know, the chickens that don't have feathers on their neck. Some people mistakenly think that they are half turkey, but they're not. This next egg, slightly smaller, slightly lighter in color, it is from the blue laced red wine dots. And those are the most beautiful chickens. They are perhaps my favorite color pattern of all chickens and I do have some of those that are naked neck y'all know that I like the naked neck now this next egg is comes from one of the rarest poultry breeds that we have this egg comes from the Zvart Hona and I know I pronounced that wrong S V A R T H O N A the Svarthona is the Swedish black hen. Now these are all black, black toes, black mouths, black skin. Their bones and organs are black. Their feathers are all black. The reason that you don't know about these is that they are even rarer than the A.M. Samanis that everyone seems to have nowadays. One of the interesting things about these is that they are a land race from Sweden. Being a land race means that it's not a, a, a breed that is it's hard to explain. Not every individual is going to be just like the other individual. Like with a white leghorn, every white leghorn hen looks identical to every other white leghorn hen. But these have variations. One of the amazing variations is that they can sometimes have silky feathering. They are not crossed with the silky bantam chickens at all. In fact, the silky feather mutation can be found in several different breeds of chickens, including Saramas and also even in Cochins, amazingly. And so, I really like these because they are a large, full-size chicken. They're jet black all over, through and through, upside down and backwards. And they have silky feathers. The reason I like the silky feathers is because that means that the chickens are unable to fly up on top of my parrot cages. Now this next egg I'm showing you, it also has a waxy covering on it. It's quite a bit smaller than this Pekin duck egg. This comes from my gray call ducks. Isn't it cute? Look at that. I love my little gray call ducks. The next egg I'd like to show you is white also. It comes from a Polish chicken. It's quite small. It's smaller than the A.M. Samani. Not A.M. Samani. I said that wrong. Huh. It's smaller than the Svarthona egg. Now this was the naked neck egg. This is a showgirl chicken. She's the one that has the naked neck. But the silky feathering, I really like these. 
They're small. They're excellent broody hens. And they're very, very calm and make very good pets. We also have Sarama Bantams. Now my Sarama Bantams are kind of on the large size to be a Sarama. But overall, Sarama Bantams are the smallest standardized breed of chicken in the whole world. They originated in the Philippines and they are absolutely wonderful little birds. They are active. They're very small. They're very beautiful and very colorful. Now I have two more eggs I want to show you just for size comparison. Well, we have duck eggs and then we have chicken eggs. This is a little quail egg, a little Coternix quail egg. And these are very small eggs. Now you know that we have parrots and parakeets and lovebirds and cockatiels. So I routinely get smaller eggs. We even have finches and they lay tiny little eggs. Sometimes all, only the size of like a pencil eraser. But I want to show you this egg. That little egg. Do you see that little egg? That little egg is a pullet egg. Not really even a pullet egg. Sometimes known as a fairy egg. There are also other names for them that aren't quite as polite. But this came from our Saramas. It's barely the size of an English pea. It's about the size of my little fingernail. This egg, I have not opened it. I don't know what's in it. And I, perhaps I will never find out. Because I'm going to allow this egg to naturally dehydrate. So that we can keep it with our curiosities. My children have a, a shelf full of curiosities, little bones that they find in insect shells and things of that nature. We had a soft shell duck egg that we allowed to dry completely out. And I'll link that video down below. But this little egg probably does not have a yolk probably barely has any albumin, the white of the egg. But this egg was laid by the same hen that laid this egg. It was laid on the same day as this egg. This is just a little bit of reproductive tissue that came loose inside the chicken and passed down the oviduct and you know what? That little chicken put some shell around it. That's the smallest chicken egg I have ever, ever seen. Yeah, I know. It's probably not a real egg. But isn't it cute? Absolutely love that. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you would, please make sure that you are subscribed. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. And make sure that you share this video with your friends that you think might be interested in it. God bless you. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.